Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio, where we are once again joined by Nock. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And, uh, you know, I have no idea what you're doing. Uh, uh, I uh, am uh, getting ready to make uh, electric engine units. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, with the, um, well, the flying robot frames. Oh, we are very close to having... The good stuff. Own personal yes. We are looking forward to that. Indeed, yes. All the robots. Yes. Uh, so that's that. We do need to make a lot of batteries. We need it for a lot of stuff. So I think I'll set up a major battery production unit. What do we actually need to make batteries? We need are they? Iron plate, copper plate, and sulfuric. It takes four seconds. Uh, right. Not too bad actually. Let's set up eight. For making those. Uh, oh, click. I don't know why I connected that back up again. Let's see. Counting intuitive to what we're doing. Um, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working on this oil thing that I laid out really, really badly. Okay. And now want to try and fix. Um, but okay. I don't know. Uh, but I'm trying to do it without losing any, any of the oil, so... Uh-huh. That's not always easy. It's not. Uh, so I've temporarily stopped the train so that I don't get any more crude oil coming. Mm -hmm. And then I just move the crude oil around. And I think all I'm going to lose is the stuff that's in the pipe, which... Nothing you can do about that. No. Well, nothing easily, anyway. No. Right. So this is for making batteries. And batteries are not made in these stupid... No, they're made in chemical plants, which is odd. Yeah. If I'm honest with you. Uh... Well, I, do, so I suppose they do take sulfuric acid, so... Uh, yeah, but they're... I, my brain would have said assemblers. Yeah. Because some assemblers can have liquids go into them, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's kind of how my brain would have tweaked that one, but... Well, something is being destroyed. Something being destroyed. Uh, it's up here in my corner. Oh, there I am. I. Oh, that's not good. There is actually Ooh. a big gap there where there is no turrets, which I hadn't noticed. Oh, go. Stick some in, I think. They broke a hole in the wall. Those meanies. Yep. They're always breaking our stuff. They are. We all, we only break their stuff when we want their stuff. We we're, we're here to help them, to help them grow, to Yeah. To to we, we found their oil so we're giving them freedom. Yeah. Going around breaking people's stuff. You can go to jail for that, you know. Uh, so you're saying we shouldn't be shooting them and should instead be arresting them and putting them on trial? 
Is, is, is that what you're saying here? Because mm. uh, <laughs> I, I think that would be tough. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because I don't kind of see that working. Uh, no, you're probably right. Let's just stick with shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot them first. Ask questions later. That's yeah. the uh, yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> Some turrets here. Oh, that'll do. That's close enough for me. Okie dokie. Right. Let me cut that all off. That off. There we go. Right. Then all of these are pumped out and are stored down there. So all this can go. So we have defense again. Alright, so I needed... Did I pick up the... Two of the plants I did? You're all out of gas that you are. Make... Batteries. Okay. Now. Think. Then we can just do this. Right. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. oh no, I need more landfill. Wherever will I find that? <laughs> A pretty good idea where you'll, where you'll see some. Of course, it means that I'm going to empty the chest of landfill, and uh, then our wool production is going to get like even less, or our stone brick production is going to get even less stone. <laughs> yeah. Well, I put it. Oh, it's up here. I missed it. Uh, it's fine. It's finished. It's 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 full. The chest is full. Well it's done. Empty the chest. Let's take a thousand landfill with me and see how that happens, how that works. Need one in there. There. Work. Oh, but that's... And you know what? I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, right, so. I want this to be expandable. Oil refinery. So the oil refinery has two inputs. I'm going to leave a gap in between them. So. Uh, that one. No. Oh, that here. one. Here. No. One here. And we want. Actually, this is. I thinking. It's totally unnecessary. Unnecessary can be good? Uh, it can, but not in this case. Oh, okay. Oh, what did I... I kind of need the water. Why did I just take the pump off the... That one? <laughs> I'm going mad. Go mad. It's, it's, it's finally happened. 
You'll come to their senses at some point, I'm sure. Uh, I hope not. That sounds scary. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There's all this thing that people keep on the back called real life. And, uh, Who wants that? Although, although I'm sure the graphics look really, really good, the gameplay is just awful. Yeah. It is. Horrible gameplay. Right. So, you want output here? Uh. And you want input here. So, which means that we want iron plate come down. That's going to be expandable right along there. If we need to expand this, we can go further. There. And then we come down, and I need a section for heavy oil production, a section for light oil production. Do, do like this. Then we can grab the copper plate. All right. Here. Uh, uh, just a. And use that for it. Alright. Oh, but uh, the pump doesn't matter if it's in a tiny amount of water, does it? No. So long as it's got water, it doesn't care. Doesn't care. Right. There we go. Okay. It's got the. It's got like a little puddle of water, and it's going to supply our entire <laughs> oil refinery system from a puddle. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> it does. <laughs> There. Let's pull up the iron a bit. And copper. Um. And we need there. Where is the main bus from here? Uh, I would say probably to the west. Yep, you would be right. But I'm kind of figuring out where these pipes need to kind of go. Ah. I mean, petroleum's going up there, so that's fine. But... I mean, I could just use this area for all the production of chemicals. And then just pipe them along. Would that make sense? Do all the chemical production? Yeah. Near it, nearer the the stuff, and then so lubricant can be sent across. And yeah, that sounds uh, reasonable. If we have any solid fuel, that can be done. Yeah, so I can do that. Yeah. Uh, I space. would. I think I would at least double the number of refineries that you have. Yes. Yeah. I've 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 designed it now so that it can be expanded across. Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea, and then I just need to figure out. Um, where I'm going to put uh, the what's the word I'm after? Um, I'm not sure. Neither do I. Uh, language, language is hard. Yes, it is. Speaking, uh, zub zub. Um, what am I after? I don't know. I forgot what I was talking about. Couldn't have been important. Uh, okay. Something about expanding. Uh, no, you forgot where oh, yes, you put something. I, I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing because we're going to have. I mean, these make petroleum and it's going to come out, but then we're going to have like the light oil being broken down to petroleum, so that needs to connect to it. 
and then mm -hmm. the heavy oil goes down to light oil, which goes down to petroleum. Yeah. So, yeah. But then I need heavy oil going across, and I might need light oil also going across, so I need to split that off. And So many things to think about. Yeah. My, my brain dislikes the, the thinking part. Fair enough. Uh, um, see there. Uh, like that. We have batteries. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, so oh, we should research as well. Ooh, uranium processing. Ooh. Nuclear weapons. Yes. I don't want the batteries on the bus. No, I really don't think we need stone any further down. We're not making concrete anywhere, though. Uh, we uh, concrete over here by the mall. What does it actually take to make concrete? And or stone, brick, go and water. Stone? Yeah. Iron ore, stone, brick, and water. Iron ore? Yep. Yeah. Make concrete? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to need iron ore on the bus. I did not expect that. Uh, that's that's wrong. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it, it, yeah, it should be stone, limestone and water, shouldn't it? That, that's concrete. <laughs> that's yeah. That, that would have been my iron, thought. Iron ore, that just seems daft. Maybe the concrete should be made a bit closer to the smelters then. Yeah, maybe. Because the iron ore is not going to be needed for anything else. No. Is it? So, so yeah. Yeah, and why does it need stone brick and not just stone? Why do we need to turn it into brick first? Yeah. I say if it used iron rods or steel rods or whatever, I'd understand that because that's the rebar for it. But yeah, iron ore just seems yeah, that seems a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that recipe is just that. That just seems wrong. Yeah, it does. You are dead in line with that, aren't you? So yeah, better is being tea. I'm gonna move that anyway. Don't mind. Um, yeah. So, do, do, for the, no, well, can you go there? How long does oh. it take to make one? You can. Hey. I'm gonna go down here. It takes 20 seconds to make frame. So, what if we did? Oh, sh should I have pumped here? Something like this. That's twelve. I think I need that one there. Mm, no. Mm. Well, let's just set up so we have or twenty. Uh -oh. Do you know what our power situation is? Because I haven't checked that for a uh, while, and we've been building a lot. Let's have a looky look here. Um, uh, we are 
about halfway up our production, so we're okay. We're, we're fine. fine. We're, we're, we require sixteen megawatts, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we've got thirty-eight. Okay. Seems like a lot. Actually, gives you a maximum production, does it? Does it actually give you? Uh, no. Which is yeah, but the, the green production bar is about halfway up. Okay. So I would guess we can do about 30, 35 megawatts. All right, that's fine then. Well, let's hook this power, this uh, up to some power, so we get some light. There we go. We can see what we're doing now. Always helpful. It is. I enjoy it a lot. Flying robot frame. Robot frame. And what's the recipe again? Uh, steel plate, batteries, electronic circuits. And we just we need to input yeah. lines. Plug, plug, plug that in there, and there. That, and we're out of. We we are not even making enough engine units to feed this. Let's not make it that long. Should probably move these that way. I can still do that have the technology what else do we have of exciting things to research uh, sort of capacity bonus Let's... go grab some belts because is there a statistic that shows how many belts we have going at the moment? I, um, I hope not. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of belts. I'm expecting at some point in my factory town play through to it to say, are you really sure you want to put down your millionth belt? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely positive that I need to do that because I need to move all this stuff from here to there and back again. That's not going to work either. Damn it. Oh, bloody hell. I keep moving stuff around going, yeah, let's put it here. And then I realise that it's not going to work because there's stuff below. It's not going to just, yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just run the thing up here because that seems like a good idea. So if I say you're going to be that line. I wanted to do one engine unit a second. I need to put down a little I want to do that. That's great. And I do have space for it, so that's good. You know what? Let's do it. Because these takes 10 seconds, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh... So, many so many pipes. So many pipes. And I just know full well I'm overcomplicating this. I just, I, I know, I know I'm doing it. Well, but I can't help myself. Overcomplicating things is fun, and. Well, you are playing a Kerbal Space Program series as well at the moment, so. Uh, I suppose it's in your DNA too. I, I don't know what you mean. Everything I build on Kerbal Space Program is purely efficient and. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't doesn't go wrong on the launch pad or anything like that at all. Um, well, that's honest. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
right here. That's that one there. So that's plugged in and is kind of working. And then you're going to be the last one. There. Ba Boom. Oh, damn it. That means I've blocked that off, haven't I? No. No. So, engine units. Come on up here. You need to split. It's gonna work. Not gonna work. No, actually, we want them on one side. Which I do have because they're all being output on the same side, so that's perfect. And so let's this and we can split them up there. And you come up this way. Brown. No. One there. This one. Just come in there. Okay. Right, so that's those. And right. we need electronic circuits. We'll get... Um if I put a pump in mm -hmm. to Force things to go a certain direction. Um, when the tank's full that the pump's pumping into, I know yeah. the pump won't let it go back the other way, but it won't stop any other pipes doing anything, will it? No. Right. Not to my knowledge, anyway. It shouldn't. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Right. So, so I could potentially have a system here where I am saying pump up and fill up these tanks at the top but then when they're full because i'm going to filter off from a different place it will still let me go down and break it down sure. I, just, I kind of want to prioritize filling the tanks first before anything else yeah makes sense if that works I, you could do it with logistics couldn't you i've seen that i've seen that on pumps pumps have the ability to rig into the logistics network uh, yeah that could be interesting the circuit network and logistics network don't what that is Ooh, connect to logistic so because you can have switches and stuff, can't you? You can go if you this can. is full, then don't do that, and blah blah blah. And yeah, you can do that. I will have to have a research on that for the next episode because uh, that could work in my favor here. It force all the stuff to go a certain direction, and then when the tanks are full. It can go the other way so yeah because I, I don't want to break the stuff down from like heavy to light and light to petroleum without having a spare tank of heavy somewhere ah okay uh, in I case something goes wrong you yeah know? um see what you're getting at yeah so this can all be expanded If required. Well, it's required, kind of required now, I suppose, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so those are coming over on that side. It's fine. And then. Do that. Uh, right. That's Can not fine, though. Build more of those. I can't build more of Certainly those. Certainly isn't fine. Steel. Ooh. Oh, and I've got mm. these to plug in as well, haven't I? Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Now. Yeah. So many options. Oh, yeah, our plastic supplies struggling. 
Really? Yeah, it's not getting enough petroleum at the moment. That makes sense. Okay. Because I'm mucking about with it, so. Yeah. Makes right. sense. Okay, so. So I'm going to get some more dump. steel and make some more uh, oil refineries, mm -hmm. but we have actually run out of time. Again? Again, I know. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure we're only playing for like five minutes at a time. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. It, <laughs> it feels like it. So yeah, yeah. yeah it's just it's, it's absolutely bizarre. Oh, I need even more. Yeah. Uh, All right. I well, I guess we'll have to figure finish this up uh, next time then. Yes. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will say thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one, where hopefully I can finally finish off doing what I'm doing here. And uh, I have no idea what you've been doing. If I'm honest with you, I'm, I'm not being happy. <laughs> um, no. Uh, well, I'm uh, trying to wrap my head around this wheel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I've been uh, getting ready for both for lubricant, so that we can make the uh, electric engine units. And then make the robot frames. Ah, ah, you are making the robots. Awesome. Yes. I approve. And I approve completely. That's good. Awesome. So, that's yes. Good. All um, right. Yeah, so, uh, yes, we shall see you in the next one. And uh, until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.